this next one, let's see here, 3, 6, 39 versus, what is the battle level in Port Royal? I'm going to go to Port Royal first, just because difficulty-wise, this is the order it's supposed to go in. It'll also give me a little bit more abilities to help, because next time we go to Olympus Coliseum, we're also going to be tackling the cups. Or at least the ones that are open to us. Oh, I missed this. Got an AP boost. Yeah, save the queen. Save the queen is Donald's most powerful weapon, if I remember correctly. We are we have thirty five types of materials out of hundred and forty five. Yeah, I don't see us getting them all. Let's see. Some assistance? Zola. That Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Will you leave a mate to perish? Aye, aye. But oh, wait. The what? Pirates are cursed again. Was that the whole point of the last visit? Why are the pirates undead? Welcome to the Black Pearl. So because we spent the entirety of our first visit on the Interceptor, your second visit is actually spent on the Pearl. Let's get these pirates down below so we can actually fight them. Come on. 
back to being human. Whoa, where'd the heartless come from? Scepter off the starboard bow. Will stop that, Jack. Hello. Oh, hello. We've got to rescue him. Will, wake up. We're in Port Royal right now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, On our that, second, that's... on our second visit. What happened? Oh, sweet. Medallions. And I, I would have joined earlier, but uh, I I was in the middle of getting a new phone. Actually, the only thing you missed was, was we went through the Land of Dragons, Beast Castle, and started to tackle Atlantica. Oh, so a lot of things. <laughs> I say a lot, but it was actually us. It's the second visits. I've never seen their likes before. So the, you know, it's kind of fast. I'm the only one who made it back to the ship. Will. Elizabeth. I feel rather... Uh... Our turn, guys. You'd best go prepared. We've no idea what's out there. Pardon me, lads and lass. But your captain will have no monsters today. Thank you. We're turning for home. Just like that? Just like that. That is very Jack Sparrow. He wants nothing to do with this. So, would you, would you blame him? No, not really. I mean, it's, we're not dealing with Heartless anymore. We're dealing with the Nobodies. And they're a whole other can of worms. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it comes to, well, this guy. <laughs> yeah. I, want to just, uh, I love when Jack opens is like, wait a second. So Why are you on my ship? We'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, uh, the darkness of men's hearts. I remember this Drawn one. These cursed medallions and this heartless, a veritable maelstrom of avarice. I wonder, are they worthy to serve Organization 13? And you want an answer now? Precisely. This heartless is actually really unique, and I actually love this idea. And honestly, this heartless, I think perfectly summarizes the world of Pirates of the Caribbean. Basically, during your first, it is very vulnerable to magic, just like all the pirates we've been fighting up till now. Right, the Reaper. Yeah, it, it does have a very Reaper appearance to it. But I, I think the, mechanic that gets introduced later for it is really cool. It does make this second visit really unique. Yeah, the Reaper is honestly uh, is one of my favorite Heartless bosses. Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 have some really unique Heartless bosses that I actually really like. Yeah, well, they do. I, like, I love the Lich that appears in Kingdom Hearts 3. That whole sequence of events I thought was really good. That we've acquired the horizontal slash.
But that is not our only encounter with this boss. Not over yet. <laughs> and here's our gambling man himself. Ah, uh, yes. No more favorite organization right. member. Number 10. Oh, wait, wait. This is wait. Parlay. It's a bit of a parlay's code. Who yeah, no, he he literally never says his name in game, but this is Luke, sir. A lot of the organization doesn't say their name in this game. They're yeah. in the, at least they're in the journal. Yeah, they're in the journal. The only time you hear his name is in Kingdom Hearts 3. And 358. Well, 358 too, but, uh, I mean voice acted. Ah. Yeah, voice actor. But yeah, in terms of dialogue, it is set in 358. Which, yeah. honestly, I like his missions in 358 where you team up with him and with Roxas and Wonderland. Yeah. Okay, um, to talk about the other unique gimmick of this level, he just scattered some of the medallions. He gave them to his unique version of the Nobodies. And our Reaper has changed shapes. He looks completely different now. It's actually more of an undead appearance. Also, guess what? Jack lost the pearl. Again. Oh. How many times does that make it now? Uh, a lot. Because I know that, I read that's the whole plot of Pirates 1. He lost the pearl. Have you ever seen, um, Pirates 2? Uh, yes. I, I've seen all the Pirates movies. I will say, I love the reasoning why he is still under the contract of that being he's like technically i've only been the captain of the pearl for a year you it was stolen from me a shitty captain but or, uh, nonetheless you were calling yourself captain jack sparrow perhaps i got a touch of something from that monster what attacked us yet why is the skin resting right on you three so now, Jack has a unique thing now during this visit. Also, Donald saying he's not greedy. Right, yeah. I, I remember, isn't it that any time he kicks the bucket, you lose? Jack, no. It's now that Jack's, Jack's back under the curse. Oh, right. Yeah, no, right. It's during, uh, you know, it's during the Barbosa fight that if he kicks the bucket, game over. I forgot about that. Really? I've never had him go down during that fight, so I have no idea. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. If he goes... Yeah, no. If he dies in during the Barbosa fight, it's game over. I mean, that makes sense. Like, in all honesty, though, that makes complete sense with the stakes of that fight being so heavily focused on Jack. But also, in this big chest right here... It, oh, no. This is the Feather Charm. That's the summon Peter Pan. I thought that was um the last Torn Pages. Uh, I, Peter Pan. No! I believe Peter Pan's actually the last summon. Yes, yes he is. So with that, we've actually got all the summons. Also, can I just say, I like the, I, the how the pirates are unique, but I also hate fighting them, especially in the graveyard. Because there's so much cover from other from like other ships in this area that they could just easily hide out, avoiding the cover, the moonlight. And honestly, I just kind of skipped. Also, by the way, save the king. I forgot save the king and queen were in, like really early in the second visit. I thought they were um in the last world. So how's your day been? James? Yes. I said, how was your day? Oh, I'm doing alright. Oh fuck it no. It, it's just not worth the experience to fight you with no moonlight. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, like I said, I I actually got myself a new phone because I was long on a different one. I went from an iPhone 6 to an iPhone 11 Max Pro. I was originally supposed That's to get an 11, 
But they were out of 11, so I was like, screw it, just go all the way. That's a jump, but also, this is um, the first introduction. I can now remember what the name of Luxord's um, nobodies. Gamblers. Are they just called gamblers? So yeah, they're just called gamblers. The thing is with the gamblers, you have to hunt down the missing gamblers and retrieve the missing coins. Oh. Something to note about the gamblers is that uh, they have specific reaction commands to their cards or dice attacks. Uh, should you win, you stun them and get a lot of prizes, and also have a chance to get a weapon from them, the nobody guard for Goofy. If you fail, you get a lot of random effects. You get a lot of random effects, all of which might involve turning, getting Sora turned into a card or a dice, which are dry forms that basically just, you know, make them useless. I mean, you can attack, but... No, I, I blame Goofy for all of this. <laughs> Actually, no, I blame Donald. He's inherited Scrooge's greed. I want a Kingdom Hearts game, though, that focuses on Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> we do, it's called DuckTales Remastered. True, but that's a DuckTales game. I wanted to be just you taking Scrooge to other worlds as he sets up business ventures. Who said DuckTales Remastered isn't part of the Kingdom Hearts timeline? My god! I mean, why not? It seems like, from my understanding, Goof Troop might be coming into um, the DuckTales timeline. With the um, new TV series. So, Frank, we're. Okay, you're bull. Oh, no! So, what we need to do now is go to the other areas and find the remain remaining, um, what's it called? Medallions. Let's see here. There it is. When one of them appears, you're put on the timer. If you do not kill the gambler before the time hits zero, it will run away and move to a different area. I'm trying to remember, isn't there a torn page in the ship graveyard? Um, no, there isn't. How many do I have? Yeah. Uh, goodbye. You're on the, uh, in terms of second visits, uh, I remember there's one in Agrippa on the second visit. Okay, then yeah, that's the one I'm missing, because <clears throat> I'm at four. I could have sworn there were five. Uh, yeah, no, there is five. The last one is in Agrippa's second visit. Yeah, so let's see here. So then we'll be getting that later, because I want to tackle that world as quickly as possible, because I want its Keyblade to grind up Master Form. Because Sweet Memories increases the drop rate of Drive Orbs. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Aladem... Ah, uh, let's see. Oh! I need 6,000 experience for my next level. These pirates are not going to put a dent in that. See, everything here is only worth double digits in experience. Which, I will say, that was something that I did find unique in Kingdom Hearts 1, but I'm happy never returned. The fact that um, your questions in the beginning of the game determined your level up rate. Yeah. I liked that idea, but I'm so happy it never returned. Yeah, no. Especially since, I mean, to be honest, it was kind of unnoticeable to me at first. And usually me, I just went, I usually just go middle of the road in all honesty. It was noticeable for me because um, when I was younger, my first, when I, when I first played, I went, my, my journey starts at dusk. Uh, that's the level up fast at the start, right? Reversed. 
Oh, river, right. Oh, so you went, you went the slow burn route. And, uh, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> that must have been painful for you. I was a kid. I had no idea, and I just hated the whole thing. <laughs> Me when I first played, I forget what it was, but I started with level ups quick at the start, and then I get no. barely got anything. It got away. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. for the love of... Back to the ship, mate! We're going hunting again. Nope, we got one more here. Yes. Just gotta find it. Alright, well... Nope, pirate. Nope, fuck I'll that. I'll probably join back in later. I have to go eat dinner now. See, nothing... On. There we go. Another medallion down. Just fuck it. Go master. Which is actually the first successful time we've gone master for him. We got them all. But where's the chest? If we find the hooded man, we'll find it. Probably in Port Royal. Why's that? Organization 13 is after people's hearts. So they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk? No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then, we have to help. Then let go and hold a run free. Now to break that curse. Except on Jack. And what's this? Oh, I understand. Jack must have been cursed by that monster, not from taking the gold. Oh, I've no worries then. It's okay, Jack. We'll just have to defeat the monster, that's all. So yes, while it while there is a single coin missing from the chest, the Reaper is immortal. To make it drop its gold, though, you need to hit it with magic. So, um, I hope you're good with magic. This is actually kind of reminding me of the, um, struggle matches back in Twilight Town. If you're to use any drive form, I would. This is honestly a fight designed for master form, because while you're remember, while you're in valor form, you have no magic. Got a lot of medallions. Put ours back into the chest. I'm 
I'm out of magic. Party sport swap out Goofy. Loot launch. The other form that's really good for this one is, of course, Wisdom form because of the fact that it's built around MP spam. And oh, this time I took all of the coins. It's got all 882. We're out of mana, so might as well just hit. Thankfully, while we're in this, my MP gauge is still recharging, but the form gauge is not going down. So, exploit frames. We're at 600. Six more coins. We got forty four. We're missing two more. You've got to be kidding me. That we've upgraded the Mangonel, which actually means we can continue in Atlantica, but that's not happening this stream. Look at that little dog.
All better. And not quite, mate. And of course, the organization Soda. has claimed it again. Bravo. Just who was that chap? He is part of an organization that's collecting hearts. First, they release heartless into different worlds. We defeat those heartless, then they get the hearts. We're never gonna stop them like this. What's the plan then? We gotta find their stronghold and finish them off, once and for all. Sail in these waters, I've heard some tales, but not a one like this. Is there any way we can help? Hmm. Anything at all. There is. It's certain we don't need the likes of that hooded fellow and the heartless about. They'll ruin the market for us true pirates. Fair enough. So that's why you went to Port Royal. And we thought you actually wanted to save everyone. A pirate always looks to profit, Miss Swan. Too bad. You had us going there thinking you turned over a new leaf. The question is, what's beyond the leaf, Sammy? Oh, oh yes. A reward. And what'll it be? That lovely blade of Sora's. Huh? Not, yeah, let him try it. Okay, sure. Hold on, that was far too easy. Uh, what's the rub? Now there you see. Well, you've always got the pearl, Jack. That I do. But someday I'll gather a bloodthirsty crew and come to take that blade. Chance by then, I'll have the way to wield it. And if I succeed, I'll ask you two to join me. That'd be reward enough. Done. Maybe someday Jack will be able to use the keyboard after all. Where's that? <laughs> he and Sora are kind of alike, don't you think? No. Or not. <laughs> Some say Jack Sparrow's the worst pirate ever to sail the Spanish main. No one could really mean that. Right. We know he's the best. I hope we'll get to see him again. Oh, Jack is both the worst and the best. You could tell this game was not built for this resolution if you look all the way to the right. But, yeah, no, that area past Atlantica is starting to look a little bit more clear. But, we'll have to figure that out eventually.